Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the data warehousing. This data warehousing is a very important concept in every IT exam, but it is more specifically common to the IBPS related exams. For example, IBPS or RBIT. So all those aspirants who are preparing for IBPS related exams, like banking sectors, IT exams, this particular video is going to be very, very, very important for them. So here we are going to discuss about the data warehouse, the introduction part and the three major steps which are involved in data warehouse. So uh, this is not going to be too long video, but yes, you will get a lot of knowledge in the short span of time. So stay tuned and uh, watch the video till end in order to get the entire knowledge, at least at the upper level of the data warehousing. So now let's start. So what is a data warehouse that we need to understand at the very first. So data warehouse is something where we have a lot of data. It like as the name is suggesting it is a warehouse. It means we are having a lot of data and that data is not in a form that we can just consume as it is. Okay, nowadays we are living in an uh, era where the data is generated every second and there is a lot of data which is generated. Now, what is our job? Our job is to get insight from that data and that is very important because the amount of data that is actually uh, present in our uh, forms, in different forms, is very difficult to get information from. For example, we have data in the form of medias, in the form of videos, in form of the text, in form of the images. There are a lot many types of data and how to get fruitful information out of it is a very difficult task okay so now what we uh, first uh, made is like a warehouse we should have all the data at once it can be in any format we should have that data now to get the insight from the data what we need we need some kind of methodology we cannot consume that data as it is we have to cook that data and cooking of that data is done in three steps extraction transformation and loading so now what happens we have the source system from where there are different sources from where we are going to have the data now we cannot feed these this data as it is to a data warehouse we have to follow some kinds of uh, standards and according to that only we are going to maintain our data warehouse okay so before we insert anything into the data warehouse the data has to go through three major steps that is extraction transformation and loading once these three steps are done then we make our data warehouse i hope uh, that is clear to you now we are going to discuss about uh, each step in detail now so extraction in data warehouse so extraction what exactly extraction means so extraction is basically the designing and creation of an extraction process Okay, this is most con time consuming process because we have to extract the data from the uh, sources and whatever the data that we are going to extract is going to feed it in the data warehouse. So now the source system will be definitely complex and it will require us to have different kind of techniques to extract the data. And sometimes what happens, the data keep on changing at a very frequent pace. What is the data today is not going to be the data tomorrow. For example, the weather, the climate. Uh, there are many uh, like stock prices these change in seconds stock prices change in seconds so how we have to keep it updated that is also very important when we talk about a data warehouse because we are not storing the data we are storing the best present data okay so that is the main process so extractions deals with this concept that you have to understand the source system understand the difficulty and the complexity of the source system and then have some methodologies algorithm to extract the data in an efficient manner the data should be up to date as well as correct in format and should be insightful as well now there are many techniques which are involved in data uh, extraction so basically there are two uh, like classification logical and physical in logical we have full and incremental and in physical we have online and offline so what happens when we are building any kind of extraction on the logical perspective, either we just extract and do everything in a full mode or we do in an incremental mode. Otherwise, if it is physical, then we go for offline or online. Like it is physical, we are having the data offline means our some more kind of hardware devices or it is online like 
the clouds. So we have this kind of different types of data extraction classifications. Now, the very next step is the data cleaning in the data warehouse. So as we said that we cannot consume the data as it is. We have to clean the data. Okay, what we exactly mean by cleaning the data? Cleaning the data means removal of the error data, removal of the blank data, and making the data clean means in a specific format. So we have a source system. From the source system, what we get? We get polluted data. It doesn't mean that the data is not for our use. Data is for our use, but it is not clean to consume. So we have to apply some kind of cleaning functions over it. And then we use different uh, programs, we def use different tools. And once the verification and the transformation is done, we have the clean data. Now, whatever the clean data we have, that will stay in the staging area. It is not immediately given to the data warehouse. To give it to data warehouse, we have a backflow of the clean data. So it will be staged, we'll check the delta and then only we are going to make it into the data warehouse. So here uh, in this image, you will understand whatever I have uh, like explained right now. We will do the data analysis, defining transformation workflow, mapping rules. We'll get the polluted data. Then we'll have the clean data with help of some softwares, with help of some tools. And then the data will be staged and then it will be feed it to the data warehouse. And definitely the backflow of the clean data is going to happen. Now, in data cleaning, what exactly if you talk about in theoretical terms, it is also known as data scrubbing because you're scrubbing the data. Like exactly if you have something dirty, you clean it and how you clean, you scrub it. So you can just understand by that like normal understanding. Now, make sure that data is correct, consistent and accurate. We have discussed about this. Handling the missing data, handling the unlabeled data, removal of the noisy data, which actually create problems when we try to establish some relationship. If we have noisy data, our results will be polluted or they will be not accurate. Identifying the error data and elimination of all the duplicate data that we have. So these are the parts of the cleaning process. Now, what about the transformation? So transformation is nothing like it is just in kind of organization or you are going to organize your data in a certain manner. For example, if you see the cubes here, the cubes are like uh, present in uh, different, different forms. And they are having different colors on every side. But what we did, we applied some kind of uh, mental ability. We applied some kind of logic and we made a cube. How we are making the cube? We are making the cube such that all the yellow color uh, uh, faces of the cube are on one side. Then the other colored are on the other side and the third color is on the other side. So we are applying some kind of logic. Now this particular cube appeals to us like it has been transformed from what we were having and what we have. Okay, so it is transformed. It is better to use. It is better to understand and it is better to handle as well. And we can definitely get the data easily when the data is transformed. Okay, now data transformation. Uh, like uh, it is a process of changing the format structure or the values of the data. And in the traditional method, it occurs basically in the middle. And it can also be done at the cloud and it can be constructive, destructive, theistic or structural. Okay. Now, data transformation, we'll have some summaries, uh, like not exactly the summaries, but actually some techniques like filter, summarization, normalization, attribute selection, indexing and order, encryption formatting. These all steps are the part of data transformation in the data warehouse. Now, the last one data loading. So basically, whatever the data we have transformed, cleaned, extracted, that should be loaded onto the system. And that is done with the help of the data loading process. So imports the transformed data into the large database or data warehouse. To make the load efficient, we need to understand that how we are going to load it. We have to get the indexes of the database so that efficiently we can access it and can load the data. The loading process is physical movement of the data from the computer systems storing the source database to that which will store the data warehouse so basically it is a kind of physical uh, presence of the data it is not exactly that something is happening only on the software level this is actually the movement of the data so there are different types of loading techniques that we do if we are making the data warehouse from the very scratch we will do the initial load that means for the very first time when we are loading the data then the second type of load is incremental load whenever we are having some kind of changes in the data and that changes are having some uh, time difference. Like, let's say in every one week, I get some new data for a particular application. So I will do the incremental load. Why I need to load everything? Because there will be duplications. So why I need to waste my time there? So I will do that in a periodical manner. And that too will be incremental load. 
now with the full refresh what it does mean delete all the content that you have in the table and reload it with the fresh data so it is just like full refresh thing everything will be deleted then everything will be populated okay so this is the data learning. now everything at a glance whatever we discussed we have different sources we have like etl then we have the data warehouse in the data warehouse we'll have metadata summary data and the raw data as well then out of this we can have olap cubes and on olap cube we will apply data mining data reporting olap analysis so this is the entire flow what exactly the data warehouse uh, is uh, meant to be and uh, how we can like um, use a data warehouse like we will have data mining techniques on top of it we will have metadata and olap cubes and everything will be there so definitely it is not the final step it is the intermediate step to a very um, bright uh, side of algorithms and bright sides of the techniques okay so i hope you got the understanding of the data warehouse the etl operation in great detail and uh, this video uh, gave you some kind of insights on the data warehouse if you like this video do hit the like button and if you are an unsubscribed user do hit the subscribe button to subscribe the channel so that you can get regular updates from our side whenever we bring any video related to any government exam if you have any doubts or you want to consult us you can reach us out at hello at examb.com or the number that is flashing on the screen right now you can also check our website at the www.examb.com we are having many courses and uh, if you are targeting for any of the government exam you can just check out there talking specifically about it we are having the ibps or rbit course uh, which will be round around the corner in this year so you can just utilize the demo part of it and can just check and can prepare 50 percent faster with iuam so that was all from my side see you in the next video till the time keep practicing and stay up